Hello guys and girls, Stradis here and welcome back to episode number 7 of the mega build of Let's Build a City in Minecraft on Xbox One. I've got a little change of appearance here and now I've got the elf out suit, I think it's a bit more suited to the festive time of year, so yeah, not a ninja anymore guys, so yeah, a bit of a change. Anyway, I've been busy and progress has been made, quite a lot of progress guys, and I've got a fair bit, for you to sh uh, fair bit to show you. It's going to be quite a big difference this farm and the area surrounding it compared to the last episode been very busy and but i've still got some building that i'm going to be doing in this episode as well for you guys to watch as well so i'm just going to turn around or flip the camera around and we'll see what we've been doing so here is the farm as you can see and the church that's right i've actually decided to build a church as well i decided to do this off camera because i didn't really know what i was going to do so i needed to just take it as it goes um, but we've also got a barn as well that I'm building, which I'm going to be building in this episode. I'm going to be doing some of that with you guys. And we've also got a road here, which I've kind of... I had to build the road before I started building anything on the other side of the farm. Because I needed to know where everything was going to be. So I built the road. This was going to be a dead end because obviously we've got the sea over here. So I couldn't carry on a road over the sea really. So that's a dead end. Uh, but I do need to figure out where all these other roads are going to go. So I've got a road going up here. We're going to have a very small residential area here. About six properties at uh, maximum. We've just, so it's basically like a small village with a farm and a small church. So, you know, it's just like a little village, little rural, little rural town that you'll pass through before you enter the city. So we'll have the small road. We'll, we'll bring it up here and off in that direction where the city is. And yeah, uh, off, most of this build is off the main map. Uh, but I've discovered something really awesome, and I can't believe I didn't know this before. But if I opened up an empty map while I'm off the map, it opens a new map. I don't know why I didn't know that. <laughs> I mean, I've I've had all this all this time of, oh, you know, I don't really want to build outside the map because I can't see what I'm doing. All I had to do is open an empty map while I was off the map, and I'll see a new one. And not only that, I've just discovered that if you put them in an item frame and bunch them all together... Uh, you, you can see everything, <laughs> you know, all the maps joined together. And yeah, I, just, I can't believe I didn't know that, guys. But it's good news because that means I don't have to worry about where I build whatsoever. So I've got no worries about building most of this outside the edges of the main map because I've got other maps. So that is cool. So yeah, we're just going to carry on building the roof here. So I've gone for quite a conventional standard American style barn here. Uh, it, it's very two dimensional at the moment, but I'm just building a skeleton of it. And then I'll go into making it a bit more 3D, a bit more interesting, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I did originally have a very small barn I was planning on building, but I changed a change plan and I decided to make a much bigger one. I'm also going to build a much bigger house than what I've kind of outlined there as well. So I'll probably end up knocking down half of this mountain and we'll build a big farmhouse there. Uh, it'll probably be a l maybe a little bit bigger or maybe the same sort of size as the barn because the barn is quite large as well. Uh, is, I will need to adjust this gravel track uh, to go to the main door in the barn. Although I could make, I guess I could make the main door on the side as well. It really doesn't matter at this stage. So yeah, I mean, so much choices guys. So much choices. I can do whatever I want really. So we've got also a, a hay stack sort of store area here keeps the hay dry looks quite quite cool got the wood effect looks pretty natural i also decided to keep a lot of the grass around here i think it just adds to that natural look of a farmyard sort of area a little bit overgrown um but it just feels right it, it doesn't really look right when there's nothing but a smooth green surface of grass the gr the, the, the three-dimensional grass makes it look a lot better i think now I'm having a little bit of trouble over here guys actually, and maybe some of you can help me in the comments section. Every time I spawn, whatever it could be, uh, sheep, cows, pigs, whatever, in this area, they'll stay for about 10 minutes and then disappear. And every time I load the game up, they're not in this field anymore. Now I promise you guys, this area is sealed. They will not get out of there. There is a too high fence there, so it's too high. And not only that, you know, I've kind of... Uh, well, you know, they, they obviously can't climb that mountain because that is two blocks high. So I really don't know where they're going. Uh, but the ducks are behaving. The ducks are staying in a little pond here. So I've got a little pond area for the ducks. They 
I think they're all there. Yeah, all five of them are still there. So I've got no problem with those, but yeah, they all the others just seem, seem to disappear, which is kind of annoying. So if you guys could help me, I would appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, that's the only thing that's kind of grinding my gears at the moment. But we've got all the crops here as well. Uh, maybe these are like runner beans. We've got melons. Uh, they're rose bushes, but I guess we could pretend they're like, I don't know, strawberries, tomatoes, <laughs> something like that. Uh, some more like peas. They look like peas, I think. Uh, we've got the cactus as well. Uh, we got these. I'm not quite sure what's pink, <laughs> but I was running out of choices, okay? So I'll put that there. We've got pumpkins and we've got potatoes. We've got potatoes growing here. Very nice. I like potatoes. So we had to have them. Anyway, I'll get back to building this barn. We'll do the roof. Trying to make it look. I don't. I mean, obviously, I want everything to look really cool. Uh, but that's not necessarily achieved by making everything look too. I don't know. Sometimes you can make things look too basic. And this roof obviously isn't exactly nicely curved, but it's a barn. It shouldn't be like perfectly curved I don't think it should just be a barn roof <laughs> I don't really know how else to explain it it just looks it suits the property it'll look nice when it's finished so yeah the one obviously downside to console minecraft is that you don't have world edit and when I see people use world edit edit it makes me feel a bit sick uh, mainly because it f is uh, my raging jealousy of not being able to <laughs> do it <laughs> you know because I'd be able to just do a little bit of here and then copy and paste it all along you know it takes them five seconds it takes me 15 minutes that's the difference guys and that is the um, much well that is how much harder it is to complete the builds the grind is real the grind is long but I guess the sense of achievement is greater so we're not going to PC. I don't have a setup for PC. So it's not in the plans. It's not going to happen. We're going to keep plodding along on our console Minecraft, slowly building this city. And you know, it could take a long, long time. But you know what? If we do this together, we'll slowly build our cities. And in a year or two time, we can look back and think, yep, we did a good job. And I put a lot of hard work into it. And it, I think we'll appreciate it a lot more because of that I uh, just got a little bit more to do on this roof now in fact I might not do the whole roof at the moment because otherwise the inside is going to be too dark so I'm going to leave that there just so I can actually see what I'm doing I'll just fill this bit in up here as well box it all off lovely it's already taken shape quite nicely get a little side on view very nice Quite simple, but trust me, I'll make it look better. Uh, let's switch over to the church, guys. I'll show you the church. I think it looks pretty awesome. I hope you agree. Quite a small church because it is in a small rural village, so I didn't want it to be too big. We've got the small tower as well with the cross on top. And if we just go to the entrance, I just put some bone mill around to make it a little bit more natural. I think it makes it look nice. We've got the odd flower, a bit of grass surrounding it. We've got the golden cross and we come in put wooden floor in and look at this guys i like it i like it a lot got our chairs red carpet got some nice red theme going on here we got the main stand up here got a couple of torches so they can dress the comers we've got our big glass here Obviously, I would have made it uh, quite fancy because I know churches do have fancy glass typically. But obviously in Minecraft, that's not really something that achievable. So it stays plain. I did kind of want to make this like a... I kind of messed up a bit here. Well, I still haven't filled that in. I did want there to be like ropes where you pull for the bells. I kind of could still maybe do it. But I think I've made this tower a little bit too narrow. And I can't really use the fencing to make the ropes. It just doesn't really work. So maybe that's something I can redo. And we come out to the cemetery at the back as well. Uh, I've tried to add as much detail as I can here. Uh, the stairs certainly help with that. 
it's not just blocks, uh, square blocks. We got the stairs. Just gives it a lot more character. You can see there's quite a lot of complex things going on here. Just makes it look a lot more interesting. And we top it off up here. Don't know if any of you played Assassin's Creed, but this would be a nice viewpoint if it was. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a hay power to jump off into. So, but luckily we're in Minecraft in creative mode, so we won't die. So we've got the graveyard here as well. Now I did have, uh, I think it's one of my subscribers help me a little bit here. So thank you for that. I think his name's Bliversil. Uh, Bliversil? I think it is Bliversil. Uh, so thanks for the helping hand. Uh, he did the cemetery for me. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, naturally the uh, little hill was here and it works perfectly because we've got the cross at the top and it goes over the cemetery here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to just keep the blocks. I might kind of like dig them out a bit as well. Have like a little, I don't know really. Because, uh, mm, I don't know, Minecraft's a bit mean, isn't it, with squares. I would kind of prefer it to be a bit thinner, but we can't really have that choice, can we? But uh, it still looks pretty cool. You can see it's a cemetery and it suits the church. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. Ah, and I have named the church as well. It's called Lightdale Farm. We're in Lightdale City. And this is Lightdale Farm. Makes perfect sense, I think. So that's what it is. And as I briefly mentioned at the beginning, we're going to be building some houses. Just small ones. Uh, not modern ones either. Just ones that are going to suit a country sort of village feel. Like I say, this is away from the city, so I want it to be like, you know, suited to the area. So we're going to have a few small properties with small gardens. Have a little truck on the drive as well. And talking about trucks, also uh, Bliversil made the little truck here as well, which is going to be next to the farmhouse, which I need to redo. So I'll be doing that. And then, yeah, of course, I need to move the path here. But yeah, that's what's happened. That's what's been built. And I think it looks pretty cool. Hope you guys agree. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. I do. Uh, but other than that, I've really just got to keep grinding out on this barn uh, to get it done. So I guess I'll carry on with that with you guys a little bit more. And then talk to you about what the next episode's probably going to be. Um, I'm kind of undecided whether the next episode's going to be still focusing in this area. Or if I'm just going to go and move to another area and then come back to this. Because I do like to vary it a bit. I don't just want to do episode after episode on the same area. Uh, because, you know, we've, we've got complete freedom here. We can move backwards and forwards. It really doesn't matter. And, of course, you know, we could just build the shells of the buildings and then do the interiors another time. Uh, because, you know, as much as I do like building, it can get a bit boring if you just st stick on one thing forever. Uh, theoretically, it's probably the best thing to do. Just stick on one building until it's done because you actually finish it. But, you know, when, especially when you're doing skyscrapers and that, guys, it's just... A long drag if you just do a skyscraper it takes a long long time so uh, jumping around is probably going to be the best thing for both of us uh, in terms of me building and for you viewing because it means you get to see a lot of different things as well so yeah let's quickly finish this off and then I will show you guys um, for the ones that don't know how you get to view a bigger map and get to view the whole uh, area that you get to build in. Of course, it's pretty much unlimited on Xbox One now. So, obviously, I haven't been able to get loads of maps yet. Cause it does take a long time. Because when you go into the new map, you need to fly around and actually render the whole map in. Because you don't get to view the whole map straight away. Uh, obviously, this is another part of the world. I'm just going to quickly fly over to where my initial plans were in Episode 1. Because I have started building a map of the whole area. Now I've only done an extra two here. But as you can see, this was our original map here. And now we've got an extra two. In fact, I can move put this one here as well. And I, as you can see, I still haven't actually rendered that one in yet at the bottom. But you can kind of see where the farm is. Our farm and church is in this area here. And the world is just huge, guys. The, end, the opportunity is endless we could do whatever we want wherever we want and it's a really good feeling actually and yeah the land is pretty crazy as you can see there's islands everywhere but we'll make good of that we'll make the rivers look a bit neater we'll make the sea look a bit neater 
there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. <laughs> but yeah, we've got our big city, main city here. And you know, the city will expand all the way up around the top here. All the way. Well, the farm's going to be there. And I think the city's going to come out to about here. I hope, you, I hope you can see the crosshairs here, guys. It's going to go about there. And, and it's going to come down, well, pretty much as low as the land goes until we get into more sea. And yeah, that'll be the main city and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned before the opportunity to build another city you know is always there we could go down to these maps down here there could be another city you know you could build so many cities it's just I could spend the rest of my life on this to be honest for you I could build it up you know we could have a whole country <laughs> by the end of it it's not going to happen obviously because obviously, obviously I can't just sit here for the rest of my life building but it's just nice to know you've got freedom to do whatever you want where you want when you want and yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, and I really need to start working on this hotel soon as well. So that might be something I'll touch on next episode. Might do a bit of building off camera. Sort that mountain out that's blasted in the back. And tidy it up a bit. Because I don't really want to do it on camera because it's going to take a long time. Still need to get rid of this village. But I'll think I'll let them live as long as, uh, as, long as they can. I don't really want to just flatten it. You can stay there for a while, guys, but when it comes to it, you'll be flattened. <laughs> they got a nice view of the city, though. Look at that. You've got the nice buildings in the background and the sun, so they can't complain too much yet. Not until I flatten their houses. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, I'm going to get back off to onto building now. I'm going to do a bit more on this farm, make it look nicer. Probably going to get some tractors around here and a little some other, other stuff whatever we find in farms we'll see when he's finished this barn and i'll start drawing up some plans on this house as well because i really don't know yet i need to delete that it's not big enough and we need to start demolishing this building uh this mountain so yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode guys i hope i inspired you to do some more building you know build a farm build a church build a barn build whatever build whatever you like and yeah if anyone could advise me on keeping animals in this area mainly cows and sheep that would be must appreciated because i've got no idea they just like to disappear off into the wild i don't i don't know where they go i really don't know they don't like get over the fence they they just disappear it's like they they can't live here but the ducks are all right maybe i've got to add some water in here i literally don't know someone someone help me here i've got no idea anyway if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe and you'll keep up with the latest videos in the minecraft let's build series hopefully my aim is to get a video out every friday so every friday guys you'll have a brand new video and have an update on the city and we will get some progress done and yeah that's it guys so my name is strutters thank you for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you soon in episode eight bye for now